Hi, honey. <laughs> what so you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I am using my expertise in concrete forming and laying to make a box to pour concrete, 29 bags of concrete, to set the boiler right here. So this new boiler we're getting, it's a, it's a wood burning gasification boiler, which means it has two stages. It's gonna set right here. Um, we're gonna run a trench around the apple tree, up the hill, over to the house, to that house, and then that'll come off with the backside right here. And then another trench eventually will come out around and go up to that house and on to the shop. But first we gotta set, set this. This is coming in a week. So I need to get this concrete down and set so it has time to dry. I think there's 32 80 pound bags. What's that? 21, 22, 2300 pounds of concrete. <laughs> we get to mix by hand because my neighbor doesn't have a concrete mixer. I told him if we went and buy one, I'd borrow it from him. He said, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I thought about buying one, but I don't want to uh, mess with concrete that much. So I have boys to do that. So we'll back, we'll put the skid steer bucket here, bring the hose, mix it right in the bucket dump it right in.
The boiler is set. Uh, it's a Heatmaster G7000 series. It's the next biggest one they've got. We've got a lot of stuff to heat. The pipe is laid. Uh, they're going up into the house now and running the power. We're filling the boiler. It takes a lot of water because we got to fill the boiler plus all the pipes inside the house. And with the boys out, my hero Ryan and Owen are, are uh, starting to rake out. Digging got, in the dirt. We have a mess. We have a mess. We have to clean it up. But we'll use it as an opportunity to, to landscape a little bit around yeah. the trees. Maybe flatten a little bit around the apple tree and the peach tree a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, make a road down along the boiler to the chicken house. And the, Ladies, and please. And the guineas. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're going to go get the skid steer now and start trying to level out a little bit and put this back. Luckily, I got $720 worth of gravel last night for the pad for the barn. So nice. uh, I'll have a little gravel to put down on here. I think we're going to get a whole, whole other load of gravel when we get done with this and redo all of this. Miss you, Rick. Oh, oh no kidding. <laughs> I'm about to send him an email. <laughs> Stupid thing. So like, what are you doing, Ryan? I have to crawl into the house. I have to crawl under the right, the rat infested, spider infested, groundhog infested house, belly crawl in order to find the in-floor heating system because apparently it's broken or something. So dad, dad gets the job since he knows how to use the tools of pumping in the air to there and so I have to crawl around the house trying to find where the leaks are. I'm trying to find that, so. See him hanging down right there? No. The pipe's hanging down right there. Oh, by the blue? Right there, not that far. The black? Yeah, the black pipe's hanging down right past that insulation. Yeah. Right past that, see where those pipes are? Yeah. That's where you're going, right there. Okay. Those pipes. Wait, where? See the pipe? They're covered in insulation. They're covered in black insulation. The ones that are right in front of us? Yeah, those okay. two pipes right there. Except yeah. there's a bunch of them in there. Okay, where they lead up them. into? Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, that's okay. where they're coming down out of the yeah. out of the manifold right there. Okay. Okay, and I think, I'm hoping. So they come up here, turn around, and go back, right? Yeah. I'm praying that they've screwed up right there somewhere, and we're able to cut into it and find it and fix it. Okay. So what you're looking for, I'm going to pressurize them. There's more of them, see? Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of them right there. See those? See all those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I see. Actually, oh, the ones and more going tires. On the, the ones going, yeah, more tires. And the ones going to your office work. They're okay. fine. So, but you'll, if they, it's, it'll be pretty obvious, right? You can see some of them right there. Yeah. They, they should all go up right around there somewhere. Okay. Okay, so that's where you want to get to. Yeah. <laughs> So Ryan's under the house. <laughs> Yep, he's under that. And what are you doing? All right, so these manifolds are for in-floor heating. They, uh, so the water comes in here, goes down these lines, goes, goes some of them go down through the floor. He's, he's trying to get right under here. They go through the floor, go around, come back up into the floor wherever they are. I don't, this isn't marked. Uh, this one's the, this one's the bath and that one's good. That was the office and that one's good. So that's the north side. This may be the south. One of these is the south side. I don't know what the other one is. So the water goes down, comes back into the return and then back out. So I'm gonna put some air in here. I want you to see if you hear it, okay? And there's a little bit of air coming out, but here. Mm -hmm. Can you see where that air is coming from? Can you feel it? It'll be this one. Can you move the pipe? This one.
Yeah, because I can hear the air. Can you? Yep, and it's going out somewhere. If you can. If you can. It's this one and this one. It's this one and this one. Yeah, there's one good. This one's going. This one's coming back. All right. That's a lot of air going through it. So the pipes run. Yeah, and then we just have to tee off to all those and uh, purge everything out. The boiler is in, it's connected to the house, it's working. We probably will fire it up next week because it's dropping down in the 40s. The, I've still got to run pipe from here up to our house and then over to the shop. That's what that roll of pipe right there is for. There's another roll laid out in the backyard. We gotta rent a trencher to do that. So now I'm gonna build a shed because I was gonna use those totes, but I can't find those totes for less than like $1,500. So I'm gonna build a shed right here 16 feet long plus it goes over the boiler and put a floor in it and we're going to stack wood 